Morning guys, I just dug around the berm about 16 inches out so that I can grab some plant fabric because that's what I have. I'm going to line the inside after I clean up a couple of roots to make sure they don't protrude. And then I'll throw in the liner. I'll just kind of pin it in place. And then I've got some strips of wood that I'm going to line the entire perimeter at the lip with. I'll pound six or nine inch rebar into the walls to hold that in place. And then I'll cut six foot logs and I'll start to pin them down. And because the walls of the cistern slope in, uh, once I pound those logs in there, I could probably park my van on top. Not that I would, but that's, you know, the point is, is that it'll be rock solid with these logs just wedged in like that all the way across, except for a hole big enough for a manhole and for the, for the drain pipe and for a hose that I can pump water out. <laughs> Don't bite me. <laughs> You're so pregnant, Bonnie. You gonna do it today? You gonna have some babies? Some piglets? Maybe 10 or 20? It seems like most of these plants grow better when you constantly pick off of them. Like these, these are beet tops. They make good salad. So I'm just gonna go around and, and clip off a little bit of several of these plants. We'll make a salad today. Try to take the old ones first. This is what I got so far. Just want to get them used to being snipped on or eaten every day a little bit. <laughs> I got red romaine over here. This is going to be a really good salad. I think these are broccoli. I haven't successfully grown any yet, but hopefully they are because I would. I love broccoli. And I'd love to get some broccoli seeds and, and lots of broccoli. Wish I knew if these mushrooms were good because I'd throw them in, but I don't ever risk it. <laughs> what are you doing, Annie? Oh, I forgot about this guy. Oops. I just spilled my salad. I don't even know what this is really, but I've had other people tell me that it's really good in salad, so I think that they just been popping up. I've never I've never had a package of seeds that looked like this. But they pop up though. Just a few more pieces from each of these. I, I'm mostly pulling these off because I think that I need to do it to encourage growth and whatnot. 
and I haven't yet this season. Wow. Look at this beet top. Really big. Worst case is I'll just bag this up and have several salads. I just haven't pulled any since it warmed up. I, I did eat um, salads all winter, but not since it warmed up. I don't know if this is arugula, and these are all going to seed, so I'll just taste a little piece. I'll do it right now, because it might be too spicy. I hear that as it gets older. It gets... Oh yeah, I can... It's tangier or, or a little little spicier than normal. I don't mind that much. So I guess I better get a few of those beet tops and then that'll be it for now. This is our salad bowl for now. I just rinse this off right here in the sink and then I'm just going to go ahead and make a big salad to eat right now. I didn't really eat much. I ate once yesterday and I'm hungry now and I'm waiting for stuff to charge from the solar. So I'm going to go ahead and have a big salad for the first time in a while. This is about um, 260 calories. I've got a serving of chickpeas and then I've got the raspberry vinaigrette and just a mixture of salad on here. I work around the homestead in water and mud a lot so having a good pair of muck boots is paramount. These high sea muck boots come with a lifetime warranty. They're breathable, warm, and waterproof. If your muck boots didn't come with a lifetime warranty, you should check out the link below. If you haven't seen any of my other videos about the cistern, this is six feet wide, 16 feet long. It's five feet, six inches deep now, uh, but five feet once you subtract the logs that are laid across the top there. I need to come up with 12 more logs to cover the entire top. Once the hole was dug, I lined it with plant fabric and then a 20 foot by 30 foot tarp which is vinyl and I'm going to put two tarps on top and this open end here I'm going to put in a three foot by three foot manhole so I can get in and out and I'll have another hole for the pipe that will run down from the rain harvesting system here so that'll all be complete soon if you guys got any questions leave a comment and I'll catch you on the next video